Business School that removed General Kutua Champo from office and ushered in General Fred Akufo in his stead, culminated in the emergence of Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlins in the political space of our country. Charismatic, energetic, fearless leader. Such were the attributes ascribed by many Ghanaians to the man, Jerry John Rawlins, the young Air Force officer who announced his presence in Ghana's politics by the abortive coup of May 15, 1979, and was sentenced to death for his part in the failed effort. He gave at his trial an important insight into his character when he stood up before the military tribunal to accept sole responsibility for the attempt and to request the NCOs who were being tried with him to be absolved and freed by the tribunal. The great events that were to define his character and career followed quickly after his trial, conviction, and sentence. Three weeks later, whilst awaiting execution of his sentence, he was dramatically freed from prison by the insurgents of what has come to be known as the June 4th uprising, when junior officers and other ranks of the Ghana Armed Forces banded together to overthrow, to throw out the Supreme Military Council and install the Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, AFRC, headed by Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlins. Thereafter, JJ to all and sundry in Ghana. It is no wonder that he came to regard June 4th as, quote, that defined day, unquote. He re-emerged as chairman of the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, when he led a 